What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a post-apocalyptic... It's kind of like... So this game is kind of like Alien Shooter. If you added a bunch of RPG elements to it, and then you also put it in the Fallout universe with like power armor and drugs and all kinds of other random stuff. It's definitely derived from Fallout. That's what you're going to notice the most. But at the same time, it's very much kind of a top-down isometric shooter game. But there's also like stats and level ups and gear and, you know, all kinds of perks and things like that. It's an interesting little game, so I figured we'd give it a look today and see if we could have a good time with it. So, before I drag my feet any further, because the blisties is getting a little tendy, let's start a new game. Uh, our character creation is pretty rad. You can do, like, a lot of character creation if you want. Different characters will start out with, like, different balances on their stats. I tend to just pick a character by how cool their profile looks. I mean, some of these guys are, like, cyborgs. Some of these guys are older. It really just depends who you want to play. And so apparently he is a musclor, a muscled man reflecting on your shape, not enough radiated to be mutant and with no cyber implants. So you're like partially mutated, I guess. But each one of these guys has like a different stat balance, a different background. So some people are like young humans, older humans, cyborgs. The game is in early access, so it's going to have more stuff added to it as well. Dude, we can be a priest. I don't know if I want to be a priest, though. Yo, that guy's got a thing carved into his forehead. He's a bi- Ooh! Nice. He's a cyber implant? Nice. Apparently I'm old as hell though, like I'm an ancient geezer bot. Okay. I don't know how I feel about being an ancient geezer bot. Apparently that makes me much smarter. We can also be... What is this guy right here? Like, where the cyborgs at? I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be cyborged out. I'm trying to be the cyborg dude. And so I can be that guy right... Are there any other cyborgs that look cool? Like, I want a cyborg that looks cool. That's all that I want, is a cyborg that looks cool. That dude has a fro though. I mean, what's not to love about a fro? I guess we could play this guy. He got six points to play around with. So we could be the cat man. We've got perks that we can pick right here at the beginning. We can go with commando, which makes us much better at movement and a little bit better at manipulation and dexterity. We can be a desperado, which is going to make us better at dexterity. I mean, there's so many things in here that you can pick just to move your skills around and whatnot. That by all means, just kind of take a look through and figure out what you want to be. I'm going to go with Soldier because that gives me a whole bunch of extra perception. And perception is sexy time. I'm going to be Mr. Clean so I won't use drugs. I'm going to be Heartless over here so that I can no longer use empathetic options in conversation. But I do get free points. And we have Agoraphobic, Claustrophobic, Mythomaniac. You just can't help it. You need to lie and manipulate everybody. Let's do it. Let's be a dirty, filthy liar. And then we can be a nurse, which gives us medical skills. We can be a doctor. Uh, if we play as a sergeant, we'll be a little bit smarter. We could be a bill. I'm looking for anything that makes me a better shooter down in here, though. I can be gifted for minus six points. Well, let's be gifted and have hella points. And then I'll be a joker because it gives me funny conversational options. So we are a cyborg joker soldier sergeant. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds great to me. We're going to be Beetleborg. Nice. I always wanted to be a cyborg, dude. I am all about transhumanism. I would be all about it. Oh, we can take other things. Shouldn't myopic be in the craziness category? I don't know. We can lose brains and become a fascist. We can lose brains and become a capitalist. Those all give me points, though. I'm okay with it. I'm not really that upset about my current balance. I think I'm good. I think we can also make our traits and stuff random, and we can reset our points or whatever if we want to, but... Traits not fulfilled. I have to pick four traits? Oh, weak. Super weak, you guys. I can be my... But myopic directly breaks my build. I don't know if I want to be... Maybe we can't afford gifted. It's possible that we can't afford gifted right now. Uh, we can run, jump. We've got sucker. You chased a ball for years learning to run faster than most. We can be a bouncer and we can be buffer. Is there anything in here that gives me, I just want perception. That's all that I want is more perception. So we can be a policeman for minus three. So that'll give me some more perception right there. And then we can also be a desperado and be good at dual wielding, or we can be a Ronin. And so we can hit fast and precisely. Hmm. What is that stat right there? Agility? Okay. We can also be a strip teaser if we want so that we can seduce people better. I need something that's like a minus three though. I guess that works. We could be better at throwing grenades. That or we could take Ronin. Oh, that's all four, though. 
All right, well, that's the best that I can do. Hopefully it gets added onto my attribute points. This is the attribute wheel. As you put points into each of your different stats, you can buy all these different cool things. And so my overall accuracy is 15% better. I'll take that. That sounds really, really good to me. And then on this side, we can take medics. So we can use med kit and dock bags to heal critical wounds that have affected your attributes. Might be a good thing to have. Uh, at the beginning of the game, it's always good to take fast learner perks. You never want to take those later in the game. You always want those early. What does that one mean right there? A mytho main. Oh, yeah, I said that I was going to lie to people, huh? I forgot about that. With dexterity, we can barricade walls and doors. We can dual wield small guns with no aiming penalty. That might be kind of cool. Let's be a dual wielder. Although, I do like rifles, though. I like rifles a lot. Is there like a rifleman skill in here anywhere? An elite marksman is on that side, and that's where we're going to require quite a bit more points. Can I reset this real fast? Yeah, reset my attribute points. I am going to take the accuracy build, and then... I'll probably drop some points in right there, because I'm trying to get to that assault rifle skill. Uh, we can also thin an agile figure. Oh, we can pick locks on a dexterity versus lock roll. Yeah, let's do that. Let's be a lock picker so that we can get extra credit for lock picking, and then I'll take that down to 75 so that we're working in a direction that we want to go. Let's go ahead and start the game off. It's time to play Almost Alive. You have been judged guilty of treason. You gave us no other option. Sarge, put a bag on his head and execute the sentence. I'm sorry, brother. I follow my orders. Off the boat we go. With minimal splash, though, if we were in a diving contest, that would have been stoked. We're under attack. I need to report to my superior. All right. I mean, I can loot all this stuff over here, and there's all kinds of goodies and whatnot. But frankly, we have the ultimate goodie in our hands right now, so we might as well just keep it the way that we are. Uh, this is a hand-drawn game, so everything has a 3D background, but all the acting characters in the game are 3D. Soldiers, get ready to defend our freedom. Uh, ready weapons. Defend the outpost from the terrorists that call themselves soldiers. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Action time. Oh shit, there's a dude right there. Let's go ahead and light him up real fast. I think I walked on barbed wire too. I don't think I feel good. Yup, vaporize him. Take him out. It's time for war. I gotta reload though. I gotta reload. Uh oh. I think we're good. I think we're alright. I can loot some of these guys. He threw a knife at me. What a jerk. So he had a Storm Mark 1, which is not a great suit of armor. Is there anything else around? I need, like, med kits, though. My health is bad right now. So in the top left corner... Oh, shit, no! Have mercy! I don't think they specialize in mercy, but I was gonna say, man, I need help. There's a doctor back over here, and I need to report back to my officer, so... Let's see if we can talk to the doctor real fast. Uh, let me see. Maybe you should take a look at this. Yep. What's broke? Show me on the doll. Everywhere is hurt. All of me is hurt. So on the top left, we've got our health bar, we've got our stamina bar, and we've got our morale for, like, whether or not we're about to break and run away. Good job, soldier, but this ain't the end of it. It's time to counterattack. Here, take this long arm and teach them how to die. All right, let's do this. We need heed to eliminate their chain of command. Is that a priority number one, son? An enemy without a head is no longer an enemy. Move into our forward position. Report to a CO when you're ready to engage the enemy. Hell yeah, air guitar. Me, me, me. Do I really want to use little tiny pistols, though? I kind of like this big badass gun that I've been gifted. That's all I'm saying is that, like, we got this dope gun. I mean, I also have an AA-12, if you're into that. So if you wanted to mess around with an AA-12 shotgun, we can do it. We can do it for Sholy. Oh, enemy shooting. Enemy shooting! Yeah, let's go ahead and vaporize some cats over here. I don't even know if I killed anybody over there. He's got cover, which is like a next level problem for me. Ow, I've been shot! I don't think this gun is working. Hold on, I need to I need to swap weapons here. There we go. See now we now we're getting some work done. There it is. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. I need that big magazine. All right, how we looking? There's a bunch of stuff laying around. Like loads and loads. There's an energy drink. What's this guy got going on in his loot? Oh, no, I'm being shot. No! 
I wanted to live so badly. I wanted to live. So that was a dream, and I got a bag on my head, but why? I can't remember anything. My head hurts badly. What happened to me, and who am I? Look, he's standing up. Alright, so let me toggle on my light real quick so that I can see. Whoa, thanks for the spook. We thought you were dead. Yeah, it looks like I'm not. How did I get here? I don't know, man. We just cruised by to snag some stuff. Gone ships drop out past the breakers. Should probably go ask the rifts. They're always hanging around on the coast. Okay, so where can I find those guys? You can tag along with us. We're checking the bar and heading towards the library. The rift base will be on the left. I'll talk to them. Stay salty. I'm not going to follow these guys. These guys can go handle their business. I need to do some looting over here on the beach and make sure I got some of the starting gear that I need. So we got some food. We got some bandages. We got some pistol ammo. And we got a throwing knife. Alright, there's a machete right there. But I have my doubts we're going to... Ooh, I got shades now. I have my doubts that we're going to need it because there's a TT pistol over here. So there it is. We ain't got a lot of ammo right now, but we do have something to keep ourselves safe. Let's take a little walk around the beach and see what we can find. Uh, there's a dude over here. Yeah, I'm going to need you to fall down. You're going to have to stop doing what you're doing. I can't get used to killing people. Well, you better figure it out quick, Sonny Jim. He got leather pants. All right, we'll have some leather pants. What do leather pants do for me? They give me some resistances, make me look a little better, and they also show up on our character because this game follows my cardinal rule for game design. Does it show up on your character when you equip it? Uh, there's an OMFG over here. Can I lock? If I had some lock picks, I could open this. So there's a camo kit. There's a tactical, a water canister, a hammer, a plasma boomerang. There's a dynamite right there and some shurikens. Okay, I don't see anything else in this area. Let me see if I can dive into my inventory real fast. I feel like I'm a... Oh, I'm a robot. Okay, I was going to say, I think I'm a little shot up right now. Get rid of... Can I dual wield these? Like, let's say that I wanted to dual wield pistols. I guess I'll just take the silenced S. I think that's a silenced SIG right there. It's got a faster fire rate and better damage than our old gun, though. We're a little bit wounded, so I'm going to throw some band-aids on real quick. I don't actively know if that's helping, but it looks like my health went up, so... And we leveled up from using that on ourselves, so that's 15 more points we can play around with. Aww, yeah. Is there, like, a charisma stat or anything that I need to know about? We've got wrestler. When we wrestle with an opponent like a man in the mud, grabbing not implemented yet. Apparently that's going to be later for the grabbing. We can barricade windows. We can take dual wielding. Oh, I didn't take dual wielding. That would definitely explain the situation then. Yeah, what is that right there? I have stable. Okay, so that lowers the recoil. We have fast aim. You aim faster than common folks. You aim to your maximum accuracy much quicker. Can I have that yet? Or do I already have that? I think I already have it. Okay. Maybe... We take that out a little further. And so we have fast aim now. We haven't really done much else with everything else. Though. I'm going to put in a little bit of brains, though, because I want to be smart. Oh, I see it. The reticle gets smaller. Okay. That's a good thing to be aware of. I don't have any healing items right now, and that makes me feel a little nervous. I don't think I need a machete right now, because I'm planning on being a ranged build. We're about to shoot Maz up in here. Like, why would you have a melee weapon in a world full of guns and power armor? Like, it just it seems like a really, really bad plan to me. Oh, there's crates down here. There's also a dude down here. Yo, get up out of my face. Get up out of my face. You don't want none. You don't want none. What you got for me? What you got? He ain't got nothing. But we did put on our tactical helmet and our sunglasses, so at least at the bare minimum, we're looking sexy right now. I can loot this right here. What you got for me? We got like a Wolverine claw. We've got a throwing knife, and we got some alcohol. Inside of here, we've got a Kevlar vest. Yeah, I'll definitely strap that on. We've got a katana, a mutant tail, and a bunch of shurikens. And then on this side, we've got ourselves an advanced lock picking kit, a ton of pistol ammo. I'm going to stack that up so it's not wasting my inventory slots. And then I don't know if I want to go left or what I want to do over here. Like, I think I'm supposed to be going this way based on my mini map and what it says. But, like, what's life without a little bit of fun? 
Alright, so that was my bad. I accidentally loaded my game back from the beginning before I, uh, before I ended everything. And so I had to run all the way back over here. We're good, though. I didn't get the same loot, though, because the loot is entirely randomized in this game. So don't expect to loot the same things twice. A bit of a bummer, because we didn't get the ammo this time, which is a, a letdown, but... Ooh, a Thompson? Ooh, Tommy guns are my favorite guns. I love Thompsons. Ooh. I'm going to loot this car. Oh, we got pistol ammo, though? Yeah, that's good. I needed that. That sounds fantastic. I'm going to hit this car up over here, too. Let's see what we find. What we have going on? So we got brass knuckles, heavy pistol ammo. We've got a radio and a cigar. I guess I'll take the radio. I don't really know how that helps me. There's a dude over here, and he's hostile. Oh, there's a bunch of dudes over here. Something tells me I'm not very good at this shooting thing. Uh-oh. Ow! Ooh, I got them both though. Oh, there's a third one. He trying to get me, y'all. He trying to get me. Sprint while running. Yeah, you had a stamina now, huh? Goodbye, face. You used to have one. You ain't got one no more. Apparently, I shot him and he gained a status effect known as retarded. That's actually a... You can take a debuff in this game and you can start the game being mentally handicapped. Like, literally. I'm not even kidding you. You get a bunch of points for it, but, like, you can't, like, comprehend... It's it's a pretty significant intelligence nerf. I'll be honest with you. This guy have anything? Family tree files. I don't really care about that. That don't help me out that much. Let me go down here and let's reload the Thompson real quick so that at least we got that. I'm going to go through and reload everything I can because these bandits out here trying to murder me. I got a frag grenade right there. Dude, that's a pistol with a knife on it? Damn. 12 rounds per second, huh? That ain't none too bad. I got to ditch some stuff. We got too many things in here. Get rid of, like, everything that I don't have to carry around with me. I don't know. Water appears to be very, very valuable. I'm going to bring the SSP with me. Oh, it's an auto pistol. Nice! We got ourselves like an automatic Glock. Sweet. Uh, I got another level up too, so let's see what we can do here. I would like to go after... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to play around with. We got those lock picks, so we can open that chest that's up there if we want to. I think... I'll probably just keep boosting my perception since we're going to be like a gun build. It's probably the best way for us to get from point A to point B. We've got knuckle dusters inside of there. Shoot. Good lord. Oh, that dude got a gun, though. That dude's got a gun, though. Yeah, I'm trying to stay behind cover. There we go. I don't know if I got him, but I put I put a couple rounds on him. We going through ammo. Ooh, I got him right there. I heard the crunch. I heard the crunch. The beautiful crunch of blood. All right. I pray one of you guys has some ammo on you. So he has like a Smith & Wesson right there. He got some heavy pistol ammo, which would probably help out with the Tommy gun. Can I unload this? Yeah, let's unload that right there. What's that worth? I don't know what it's worth, but it's a little ass pocket pistol, and I do like little pocket pistols, so I'm going to take it with me. I like concealable weapons. On this side, we got a bat. We got some combat pants. We've got a gas mask. Can I wear that? Oh, cool. That goes over everything else, too. Sweet. We've also got plastic armor right there. I don't think that's going to be that helpful. We've got a motorcycle helmet, which, once again, I don't think is going to be that helpful. we got some bandages right there. We did get shot up a little bit. There's a ton of coke right there, just in case we need to be hyper-focused in the near future. But everything else does not look that useful to me. What's inside of this thing? we got another first aid kit. I will take the hell out of that first aid kit. We've got food. I'm going to eat the food to get my stamina meter back up and also get myself a little bit of space to play around with. I'm going to stack that light pistol ammo right there. 
I'm going to throw some of the smaller melee weapons and things in here that we're just not going to use. Like things that I don't think are that helpful. I lost my sunglasses, unfortunately, when I put on my gas mask. So that's going to have to be one of those things that I just got to live with. I'm going to eat the food state out of the crate right there. What is that, a dead guy with plastic armor and a bunch of med kits? I will take med kits. Med kits are fantastic. I actually, I probably need to use one of these right now. Oh. Our health has been better. Hey, we leveled up again. Nice, oh. good to know. I don't know if leveling up right now is accelerated in the current build because it's early access and they want you to level up and like test things out. I honestly don't know. Oh, there's an SKS over here too. Ooh, I love the SKS. This game's making me make some real hard decisions when it comes to what guns I want to keep. I'll be, I'll be very, very honest with you right now. They've put like all my favorite guns in the game so far. We've got a Thompson. We've got an automatic Glock. We've got an AA-12. We've had an AK with a barrel mag. Like we've had like the best stuff ever this entire time. Got throwing knives, booze, and an SKS. I don't know if I can carry the SKS. The SKS might be a little bit beefy for us. How much of that do I have? 45? Oh, nice. I can actually just use the Thompson. Cool. Does it actually look like a Thompson? No, it's just got a generic assault rifle graphic. And so if I've got the SKS, it does 32 damage, but it can only fire like two rounds a second. So it's like bam, 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 bam. And it's very, very loud. I don't have any of the ammo for it, but I'll hold on to it and I'll use it as vendor trash a little bit later. Because really, do we actually need anything other than a Tommy gun? Like, the Tommy gun is the superior choice in a video game like this. So this is the Rifts guys everybody was talking about. Hey, stranger, I got some questions for you. You know, a lot of things around here end up fertilizing a vegetable patch. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm alive, I know that much. Yeah, we saw the other people from the ship drop your body overboard. We thought you were just another corpse, but here you are, large as life. Uh, I really can't remember much. Do you guys know who those guys... Actually, I'm going to do the Joker thing. Yeah, I can give you info and better equipment. Help me out here. Alright, what do you want me to do? Well, it's usually pretty quiet. With Gone Protection and H2O, everybody lets us do our thing. But two days ago, we sent Mark, one of our scavengers, to an old hotel south of here. He never came back. Can you check the place out? You could ask the army men if they saw anything, too. If you find anything, we'll provide you with a lot of gear. What do you say? Alright, yeah, we could do that. I can definitely get down with killing some random people. I uh, will take the light pistol ammo. There's a box of nails right there. I don't know if I actually need that or not. Heavy pistol ammo is always a solid choice. And we got more heavy pistol ammo than I know what to do right now. We got that 45 special right now. Just bap, bap. Uh, there's a drug right there. Do I really want a drug? I don't know, but I should probably save. Let's go ahead and camp for like two hours. We'll just sort of like wait and see what happens. We also got a level up right here, so I should probably apply that to something. What is that one right there? My accuracy goes up 40% faster. It is definitely going up faster. I wonder if at max level, it's always like at maximum accuracy. Mm. What is that, an MP5? Oh my god, they got all my favorite guns in this game. They are doing a really, really good job at having all my favorite things. I'm going to leave some of this stuff behind inside this box because I need inventory space. And this is not working for me right now. We can throw out the throwing knife. Ain't nobody care about that trash. I will take the pistol ammo, though. Uh, let's go with the MP5, I guess. And I'll swap that out for the auto Glock because they're basically like the same thing. Like, how much damage does this do? 16? Yeah, so they're like the same gun. It's just that one's not quite as good. And so I'll throw the, the auto right there as well. All right, what's inside this other car? We got to scavenge a little bit. Uh, I can lockpick? Yeah, do it. I never lockpicked before, so I figured we'd give it a go. Uh, we've got ourselves a another, like, hand pi Oh, it's a laser pistol. A slicer. Cool. Apparently I've got a detector as well and some light pistol ammo. That uses laser cartridges though and we ain't got none of those. Let me strap on a light real quick. Who are you guys? We are peaceful and we just want to survive. Okay. Like I ain't trying to hurt nobody right now. 
We got some Einstein drugs right there and a letter. Dear John, I'm so glad you managed to blah, 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 blah. That's exactly how I feel when games have, like, books and text and stuff in them. I'm just like, eh, I don't really care about this. I'm going to camp till morning. Hopefully it'll be light by the time I wake up. It's 3 a.m. Oof. Let's try again. There we go. I don't like traveling at night. It's risky. Makes me feel like something bad's going to happen to me. Oh, shit. We have shots fired. There's... Oh, I've been hit. I've been hit. I've been hit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you can drag him back to town. Yeah, look at your dumb ass getting shot up. Look at your dumb ass getting shot up. That's right. That's why I make friends before I go anywhere. That's why I got the homies. That's why I got the bros ready to look out for me. This dude got light assault ammo and grenades. I'm going to ditch the dynamite and the throwing stars. And give me some give me some real high quality explosive goodies. That's what Splatty's talking about. I'm about to run this med kit though. Come on, get me healed up. I'm in bad shape right now. I need those HPs. All right, we're good now. We good. Uh, we got another level up ready to go. That one right there lets me do dum dum bullets. Create your own dum dum bullets, adding 20% on damage on all guns that don't have penetration potential. I can also pickpocket. I'm a fast shooter. My rate of fire is 20% faster. Hell yeah. I'm down with that. Let's go. What does that do right there? I'm a smart ass. You can lead people to logical conclusions. Sure, I'll be a smart ass. I'm a smart ass in real life, so that makes sense to me. Let's go see what his homeboy had over here. I don't see anybody else running at me yelling like a raider psycho. So... Oh, he just had a fire axe, so I whacked the guy that didn't even have a chance of killing me. The other dude had an assault rifle or something, and it hurt like hell. It doesn't look like you actually get the loot that they're using. It looks like you get randomized loot from a table, depending on what they were. Now we got some junk armor over here. Not that great, but it has a low it has a low strength requirement. What's it look like? Oh, it makes you look like a you look like a badass raider over there. It's got kind of like a road warrior thing going on. What's on this side? We got a couple of crates over here. A stick nade. Okay. What does a grenade do? I want to throw a grenade. Hold on. Ooh, nice. That had kind of like a ooh, lock picking. Yeah, I love free XP. Let's do it. Oh, there's a BAR? And we can dual wield 1911s? Uh, game, why do you do this to me? I'm so conflicted right now. I'm so conflicted. I absolutely want the BAR. I think I might have to ditch the cigar. Oh, bro. Bro, you got me so tempted right now. All my favorite guns are in this game. My name is Splattercat. This is Almost Alive, a post-apocalyptic shooter that's very, very similar to Alien Shooter or Zombie Shooter, if you've ever played either of those, but with tons of RPG stuff, leveling up, storyline. It's in early access right now, so the game is likely not going to be done for a while. But that being said, oh, I've got a critical... Oh, my lung was perforated? No! Well, either way, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the video with a like. It helps out more than you know. And then on top of that, if you wanted to support the developers, you can get the game down below on Steam. I'll see you all next time. Hi, do everybody.